Well, we're just getting last supplies before we go out on our snow camp. We're going to go out to uh, <coughs> onto the ice over there, and we're going to dig ourselves a hole and spend the night there just to see what it feels like, you know, to get us all accustomed to being cold for a change. After several hours of classroom instruction, we headed for the Ross Ice Shelf. So we are at snow camp. Um, I'm looking off at Mount Erebus. We have just come off Ross Island. We're on the ice shelf. Um, our two instructors. Here's our transporter and all the equipment that we'll be using for the next two days. We are uh, going to start an MSR uh, stove. These are the types of stoves that come in the survival kits that we'll be issued with in our field sites. There. Fire in the hole. Going? Yep. Just got yep. your windscreen yeah. handy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're here. gonna need that right now, actually. <laughs> Sweet. That's some toasty. There we go. That's it. In addition to hands-on training in various survival equipment, we also had to establish a camp for the night. This included setting up tents for all of the people involved and building a retaining wall that would protect these tents from being blown over by the wind. We also had to set up a kitchen area similarly protected by ice blocks. Well, snow here is pretty amazing actually. What, uh the water bottle leaked inside my bag. It doesn't take very long for it to consolidate. And uh, so we have fairly fresh snow. Comes out in very nice blocks. Which we can then use for building things. Okay. You ready? Sure. With camp ready, we started melting snow to drink and to cook our dinners, and some of us started building shelters for the night. Snow school is to build our own snow shelter. So I'm in the pro first stages of excavating that. I want to cut a long thin chamber and take the blocks out, tunnel under that, and then use the blocks to roof it over. And we're one layer down, and uh, you got to go one more layer and then start hollowing it out. So far, so good. Hey, so <laughs> my snow hut's done. I got blocks cut to close the door, and uh, I guess the big test is whether I'll last the night in here and keep warm enough, so wish me luck and see you tomorrow. After successfully spending the night in the snow shelter, I helped break camp and then we continued our training. Reliable communications are critical for Antarctic field work, so we received training in the use of high-frequency radios, which form the backbone of the communication system here. These military radios can transmit over very large distances using these long antennae, which have to be suspended perpendicular to the direction of transmission. South Pole, South Pole, South Pole. This is Happy Camper on 7.995. Over. Our last exercise was to rescue a lost field member under whiteout conditions, which we simulated by putting white buckets on our head. We found out it's practically impossible to succeed in a rescue like this. Our two days of training concluded, we headed back to McMurdo.